Well, it's nine hours and 24 minutes into the day of November 10th. It's a Tuesday. And I'm using, I'm using another camera. I got a second one of these uh, because I need to balance load the amount of materials that are on the uh, devices. Uh, basically, with this one, this single one, it does a good job. But I'm almost at the uh, the maximum memory limit, limit, so it limits what I can and can't do. So I use this camera uh, to do the current stuff, and that way it offloads a large chunk of the uh, uh, the uh, uh, memory requirement, the storage requirements on the other phone. So it it balance loads things, and I think by the time I need, by the time I sort of. Uh, the New Year comes around, I think I'll get a third like this one. Uh, uh, to get even more work done, that's the, that's the goal. Uh, this does become an office. Uh, it, it, it does uh, work as uh, not a phone, but more of a laptop. It's more along the lines of a laptop. And if you understand Linux, you can do a lot with Linux uh, on the uh, phones. Uh, in terms of overall productivity and what you can actually get done. And so that's the way I approach it. I approach it. These are not simply phones. These are devices. Uh, and because I am a Linux person, I can inter uh, sort of integrate them into my Linux network. And that makes the network a lot more functional than it was before. So this, in, in many ways, is an upgrade. Speaking of upgrades, is that uh, the first of the... Uh, the first of the... Uh, orders that will come in this week to do the upgrade for the music room uh, for the music studio is coming in today so uh, looking forward to that we'll probably do a uh, a, a brief uh, uh, um, uh, not opening but a vlog on that because I'm going to wait to open it until after everything's installed it's going to take a, a large chunk a, a fairly good effort to sort of really get everything uh, the way it needs to be uh, before I can, you know, say, okay, yeah, this is done, and open up the piano. So that's what's coming in today, is the piano, the electric piano. It's, uh, I think it's M, M, M Technology, M88, uh, with uh, hammer action, 88 keys. So it was a full-range piano, that's what I needed. Uh, it does have MIDI and USB, so it does act as a MIDI controller. So it has all the functions that it needs to have, in order to uh, attach itself to the music studio that's already there, which, which includes three mixers uh, for a variety of different things. Uh, uh, electric guitar, uh, acoustical guitar, uh, harmonica, and I do have one that's portable with uh, with the, um, like something like, like uh, Fruit Loops on, either one of my phones will have Fruit Loops on it, uh, along with uh, several, uh, a couple of different music, a couple of different music apps as well. They'll all be included in the uh, overall music studio. And I've got a way to hook things up to a digital recorder that does a half decent job. So I'm happy with all that. And so now it's a matter of moving forward. <sighs> well, today is, I'm still I'm still pretty much uh, tired. I'm still pretty much uh, uh, my body is is indeed fatigued. So. Uh, the next order right now is to simply go back to bed and let my body heal up. I am doing much better than I did uh, on Monday. It's just a matter of making sure that you have the right amount of nutrients, the right amount of food. Uh, hydration is always key to things. And then just going from there. Well, I just, I just did some shopping. It is uh, 5 hours and 45 minutes into the day of Wednesday, November 11th, uh, 2020. I did some food shopping. <laughs> Didn't go anywhere. Just saw it all, all on an app, all on uh, online. 
and place a new order for uh, some more upgrades. Uh, the back room uh, research desk has a uh, a keyboard uh, and mouse combination that's uh, wireless that I really do enjoy. It seems to be very functional, even in a darkened media room. Uh, because the keyboard itself is backlit. It's got these nice uh, LED, uh, different color LEDs that um, give the uh, keyboard a, a sort of a feel that as you uh, working through it, it scrolls through these, uh, a number of different nice colors. And uh, I'm a happy camper like that. And with all the functionality of, of the uh, of the keyboard and um, there is a touchpad mouse there, uh, everything works fine. Uh, so. I'm going to add that to uh, my uh, the research desk uh, uh, monitor up here, the the TV, the Android box I have, and then probably uh, in December I'll order two more uh, that will go for computers, replace the keyboard and mouse on my computer, uh, and so so that 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 will be the change going from uh, uh, a, a mouse. Uh, and keyboard combination, which uh, takes up a fair amount of space. That's that's the thing. It, 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 there's a fair amount of space that it actually takes up. Uh, and with the wires and everything all over the place, uh, if you have more than one keyboard or, or more than one necess one more than one a necessity for more than one keyboard, uh, it kind of makes things a little complex uh, because. Uh, it, the wires just make a tangled mess all over the place, so it will allow me to sort of clean up the area a bit where uh, I have uh, uh, a number of different systems uh, operating together. And of course, the pianos come in already. I'll be waiting for probably Thursday and Friday will be uh, the the shelving unit for. Uh, uh, for the back here, you'll uh, in the background. Uh, you'll you'll see it when it's done. There'll be a shelving unit there. Uh, you might not worth You won't be really able to see the uh, the uh, the kitchen behind me. Uh, over to the right, and um, the piano has already come in. Eighty eight keys. Uh, that's already done, and you'll see, uh, I'll have to replace the uh, stand that's here with the other keyboard. Uh, that has to be replaced. I've got a double tier uh, uh, stand coming so that I can run both uh, keyboards uh, simultaneously. Uh, but uh, and it's, this is going to give me a chance to clean this area very well so I'll be able to sort of clean everything up and sort of get things cleared away and uh, it'll be easier to maintain like that. Hmm. Here we go again. The yawn. Uh, I am... No, I'm thinking it started taking some time off. I, it, the body wants more time off. It does repair itself uh, properly uh, in uh, its uh, settings uh, as I relax. And as I, the, the body does most of its repair work while you're asleep. So uh, the vacation time where you sleep a lot is not necessarily a bad thing because that's how the body starts to repair itself. And... I had put my body through close to 20 years worth of uh, uh, right up to the edge <laughs> is the performance where uh, it was running at full speed and there were really any, weren't any breaks and I don't get any I don't have weekends I don't have uh, what you would call a vacation where you can go off for a week or two or a week or two and just sort of do not do nothing or sleep in. So that's not there, and so my body does have this uh, condition of being heavily sleep deprived. So giving myself this more time off does does seem to be correcting some of the issues uh, that I had with uh, the uh, sleep de sleep uh, deprivation uh, issues that I've had. Uh, A lot of times you don't realize until after you've made the mistakes in terms of how you've said something that they could have been phrased better. But anyway, uh, <laughs> this is the nature of uh, what you're, you're not. I'm not editing things out, 
And so you're getting everything, everything you see is reality. It's not an edited uh, uh, um, B-roll type of substitution where, oh, I made a mistake, let's cut that out and put something else in. Uh, you know, I should have been saying this. I mean, I mean you can do this afterwards, you know, if, if, if that's the type of, type of vlog you want. But a uh, vlog is a log, it's a journal. And so this is what's happening is I'm doing this journal, I'm doing the vlog. And I decided that because it does represent who I am as a, as a scientist, as a researcher, as Cyborg Alpha, uh, that the log needs to be as close to a scientific uh, uh, log as possible. And that means no erasing mistakes, keeping everything out the way it is. Let people see who my per what my personality is. Uh, the way I think, the way I, the way I, I uh, approach things, um, di different things like that is. And as I'm going back and watching uh, my own vlogs, I do go back and watch my own vlogs. Uh, I find that there, uh, that actually, in terms of the vlogging standard, it's actually pretty good. It depends. Do you like a conversation or not? If you don't want the conversation, you want something else. Then uh, there's more than other. There's, there there are other channels out there out there that will do that, but right now it's because this is what I do primarily, um, this is the conversation, even when we're doing the ride vlogs, it's about the conversation, so you're riding along with me. Anyways, uh, because I did all that stuff before, I'm a little late getting to the gaming and meditation, <clears throat> and my voice is starting to crack. And I will see you probably sometime this afternoon. We'll see what happens for an update and sort of take you along my day. Take you along for the day. See, there's a mistake. I could have phrased that better. Well, I'll be attempting to move up to uh, 60 frames a second, 1080p, uh, full, full HD. Uh, I'm not ready to go to 4K yet. I do have the capacity to move to 4K in terms of the actual filming. But in terms, in terms of the storage and uploading, uh, that's not happening anytime soon. So it's, it's, uh, There's a bit of darkening here for a minute there. The shift in... Uh, in uh, light capacity, uh, shift in, in in light brightness in terms of uh, what the screen was seeing, a little bit of a blank a blank spot. Anyways, it is six hours and fifty minutes into the day of Wednesday, uh, November eleventh, uh, two thousand twenty, and we're still in election mode. Uh, the election has not been decided yet. I don't know why. Uh, and then this is called the mainstream media. They've gotten to the point now where I don't understand why anyone is actually watching the news because they're more clowns than anything else. They're, they, they're, 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 you know, basically sideshow entertainment. I mean, they're not even the main act anymore. Uh, <laughs> and yet, here they go. Uh, And the thing is, is I guess, well, I guess this is sort of the very American thing, or not necessarily, I would not going to say American. Lionel LeBron thinks American, uh, the American public is very stupid and gullible. Uh, this is uh, from his observation. And, well, okay, yeah, there's a large chunk of the, uh, of the, of the population that is that way. But the thing is, the same, it's, a true, it's true almost for every, every, every country. Uh, the number of people who will go beyond and sort of check under the uh, uh, mattress and under the rug to sort of see what's there and how it works uh, are very few and far between. And um, there are a lot of people who claim to know. <laughs> There's a lot of experts out there, but uh, the number of people who uh, will actually go beyond and really have an understanding are, are few and far between. But then again, who, how, how many people are dying to be nerds, you know? If we go look at the population of those who have style and sort of, you know, 
have some degree of swag, you'll find that uh, more often than not, what ends up happening is that uh, uh, <laughs> the people with style and swag will not typically be your your best and brightest. They'll typically be middle of the road. They'll sort of, you know, have some understanding, but very little in terms of the overall background or the mechanism. Or, and a lot of them are very good at memorizing. They, they'll, I mean, there are some that I've met that, uh, well, you know, will speak all with, speak ent entirely in quotes. In other words, when you're having a discussion with them, and I've had this uh, in my case, uh, had a discussion, was talking about what I was thinking and how, you know, you know the different things I've experienced and sort of observed. And he. His entire conversation existed of quotes uh, from other people. And that's how he associated things, with just, you know, quotes from other people. He had no thoughts and ideas of, of his own. Zero. None. <laughs> Other than it's all good, it's all good, it's all good. And that, he, that was one of his uh, fallback phrases. If he didn't have a quote, it was, it's all good, it's all good. Of course, he uh, later on in life became a politician. <laughs> that's, that's, if that says anything. And the thing is, we think that these sort of the, the political events of the day are the brand are brand new and never have happened before. Uh, I refer you to two uh, BBC programs: Yes Minister and Yes Prime Minister. And you'll see this is not the this is not the case at all. And you'll begin to understand. The sort of the battle that goes on between the elected officials and the the bureaucrats who want something else. You know, the bureaucrats think that they're running the show because they've always been there. Well, the the elected officials think they're running the show because well, they've been elected by the people. They've been given a mandate. Uh, but the reality is, is there's sort of a back and forth type of, type of uh, wrestling that goes on uh, behind the scenes that most people just don't see. Uh, where you have this sort of tussle of ideas, you know, on how to how how, how to so-called manage or engineer society, and there's nothing new. I mean, people toss out the phrase "moron" and "idiot" uh, without necessarily understanding that that those terms are actually progressive terms. So, well, how dare you call me that? I'm a progressive. Well, yeah, because it's a progressive term. It occurred through the 1930s, the social engineering of the 1930s where it was viewed that people who were morons uh, needed somebody to take care of them. And this was done out of, out of the heartfelt respect, and so that, you know, we need to love our, our, you know, mankind. We have to take care of those who are, who are beneath us. Because a lot of this came out of the, uh, you know, the, 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 the intellectuals of the day. And this is where a large truck of everyone has gone to a salon, not, and knows what I'm talking about in terms of not going to the hairdresser, but to, to uh, uh, a salon is a uh, an intellectual discussion held usually in a a woman's uh, salon, their their parlor, uh, and these were the uh, sort of the, the 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 upper crust, the aristocracy of the day, who really didn't have to work. They really they, they, isn't. And this is the whole issue of the suffrage, the suffrage movement. The people who gave voice to the suffrage movement and, and, and the uh, ladies who marched in these parades, they were all, they were all um, often known as the suffragettes. They were all people who were in society. They didn't have to work. It wasn't, oh, women won't, won't, aren't allowed to work. Well, well that's not true, because my grandmother came over. She worked. Um... Most of the immigrant parents who came over, both parents, mother and father, worked. It, it wasn't something that was uh, uncommon. It was, matter of fact, it was more common than not. And it's just because they simply c couldn't afford not to work, have both people working. And so that's the way. It, that's the way it was. It was only the people who had enough money, where they had maids taking care of the house, cleaning and doing everything like that. And they, and an upstairs maid, a downstairs maid, a maid for the kitchen, and, you know, for every other place that you need a maid for, they have a maid for that person, for, the, for that, that, that particular area of the house. These were the ones who were complaining about, oh, we've got nothing to do all day. Well, they did, that's the problem. They didn't have anything to do all day because they were, 
they, they didn't, they, you know, they were wealthy, they were rich. I mean, all, to understand this better, all you have to do is go watch, um, or, you know, everyone to want, 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 wonder why we, where we get the term Jeeves from, uh, you know, for Butler, for your, for your, uh, for your, um, limousine driver, home Jeeves and stuff like that. It's from a, it's from a book and a TV show called Jeeves and Worcester. Uh, go watch that, um, uh, those TV, that TV show. You should be able to find them on YouTube. Uh, take a look at, uh, maybe if you can find the book. There's a book like that as well. Read that. And you'll begin to understand how society was and how the things we think were true in terms of what we see in the media are actually completely false. That there were other dynamics involved. Anyways, uh, I think we'll leave our discussion there for now. Uh, because there will be a uh, un unboxing today, or, or sort of unpackaging, as I, as I get my uh, grocery order, my grocery order comes in. But it's not much; it's just milk uh, and uh, some of these uh, ginger cakes, like ginger cakes, are they called bulla cakes? So uh, look forward to seeing that. <laughs>